I'm in the water. Please help me. Blah, blah, blah. Are you using my code inside of Rec Room? And this goes out to all the people that aren't using my code or who think they're using my code but actually aren't. Be sure to check if you're using my code because your 45 days might be up. Should even drop a little like on this video too, maybe. Mm. Not to mention, it also really helps support me, and I really do appreciate it. Anyways, let's get to the video. Not only did we have an update, we also have some other stuff to talk about and some developer talk that we will be discussing. You guys will notice that inside the community board, we have some new YouTube videos, some new Instagram posts, and shoot, even some new featured rooms as well. What are your guys' thoughts? And if you guys want to become a featured creator or get your room featured, you guys will see the links that I will have down inside the description below. And of course, if you guys didn't already know, the featured rooms are higher up inside the play carousel meaning that more players will see your featured room so feature your room right now of course what are your guys' thoughts on this board be sure to let me know what you guys think Recromad oh my god babe are you okay <laughs> i literally hit you i'm so sorry <laughs> that's so funny i'm gonna put that in the video Recom put included the monster munchies popcorn into the shop if you guys are actually interested in the featured creator and stuff like that Rec Room just released a featured creator video on their actual youtube channel so maybe it might show up on there who knows and now for the time we were all waiting for this Rec Room update my brothers and sisters Rec Room decided to release a Rec Room update this monday night and of course i'm here to read it for you guys this tuesday morning this update is a little different and it's called the we added a tldr section edition tldr starting tuesday an experiment for my dorms is starting check your creation tab on your watch and we will go over that later inside this video crafting costs for the stone axe in my little monsters has been lowered there's 10 more times more recording time in holotars v2 Loading and networking issues have been improved. For my little monsters, the stone axe crafting cost has been lowered to one wood, one stone, and one crystal. Objective markers display on wood, stone, and crystal right outside the first portal. For general improvements and bug fixes, players shouldn't fail to load into rooms as frequently. The maximum Holotar V2 recording duration has been increased from 30 seconds to 300 seconds. That's 10 times more time for recording brain rot. Yay! Skibbity Sigma! Skibbity Sigma! Pressing the clear button on the Holotar recording window will now display a confirmation button before deleting the recording. Move the animation gizmo controls to their own Maker Pen menu tab. Toggle button set is pressed, print text to screen, and clear screen chips will now consume the correct amount of network heat when used. Network heat is the name we use for how much data is being sent over our network, and because these ships weren't counting correctly, the networking in some rooms was breaking. Yay! Thermodynamics! Woo! Then they have this little gif of this little buddy going inside this trigger volume and just being like low gravity, or being able to just like continue going in one direction. It's pretty cool. Cloud lists are now out of beta. We fixed a bug where functions without execute ports can now return incorrect values if multiple calls are made during the same execution. Monitor rooms for corruptions and reuse to save them if corruption is detected in rooms, invention creation, or invention spawning. Pressing the clear button on the Holotar recording window will now display a confirmation button before deleting the recording. Fix some old bugs around fist bumps and high fives, making them easier to trigger. Remove placeholder text when the UI is loading. New local player set gravity disabled node will let you turn off gravity for the local player. Once you're floating around, you can use custom locomation or the new player get physics velocity, player set physics velocity, and player set steering velocity nodes to finally control your movement. Fix an issue that prevented data table get column count and data table get row count from being configured to a data table. Toggle button components now have a synced toggle allowing their press state to be unsynced between players. And lastly, translated and untranslated progress tab label in the profile page. For rooms 2.0, we have two things to talk about, which are they fixed the issue where the equipped object to dominant offhand ships failed when used on a handle, not in hierarchy. And lastly, replicators can now be included inside inventions. For experiments, they're trying out some token store layout changes over the next few weeks. They also fixed a few bugs that made general improvements related to token purchasing. It should also totally add like bundles or cheaper, you know, prices for tokens and see if that works or something. We're launching an experiment this Tuesday on adding my dorms to your creation tab in the watch, make multiple dorm rooms, save them for later, and swap out the look of your dorm for the seasons or events. And we'll of course get into all of that. Lastly, for Rec Room Studio, they added the new set palette UI to Steamline Creation Workflow. And that was our entire update. Now I'm not gonna lie, we had some pretty cool features this update, and I really do think it's a W update, but of course, I want to know your guys' thoughts as well. Do any of these things inside the update improve your life inside a rec room? Let me know. My dorm this, my dorm that. What's all this my dorm stuff? 
Let me clear that up for you. Now, basically, it's a split test feature that is inside your watch, and you guys are going to want to go to create first. Now, once you're inside create, you guys want to go to my dorms. Now, this is a split test feature. You may not see this inside your create menu. If you don't, unfortunately, you do not have the feature. It sucks to suck, but you can't do nothing about that. Anyways, you guys will see this active dorm thing inside the actual my dorms menu, and this will basically be where you spawn in. So, for example, this dorm, which I spawn in, is my active dorm. You can change it and stuff like that by going to the different rooms that you guys have, which are just dorm room templates, basically. You guys can see them all right here. You guys can have an entire list, and you guys will just create a new dorm room if you guys want to make it. You guys also have the setting to set it as your active dorm room too, so the dorm room you actually spawn in and stuff like that when you decide to create it, or you can just change it whenever you want to. But when you do decide to join this dorm room template, it basically is just a custom dorm room. I'll show you guys. You guys have probably seen it all before, but basically with this actual dorm room template, it works as a custom dorm room. I can delete all the stuff that I wasn't able to before, and yeah, you guys can kind of just mess with it now. The dorm room template that I talked about a while ago is finally a genuine feature inside of Rec Room now, and of course, what are your guys' thoughts? You know what's also pretty weird some people that were just looking at my account right now i just got this dm we're saying how weird my dorm name was and honestly it's pretty fuck oh i was about to cuss it's pretty weird honestly i, I don't know what's going on with my dorm can anyone explain this hey you know i have channel memberships right basically people that are inside my channel memberships give me money every month and i give them perks every month inside my videos and some of those perks are being shouted out in every single video i make and i make a lot of god dang videos if you guys want to become one of the pookies that get shouted out in all my videos join my membership you guys can see a join button probably by the subscription button anyways massive shout out to all my bookies who include alt rule 2 Mufi, abby young creator chazzy vr jordan the wolf yt dead channel pfg on vr at classy dino pie not the pup s plus miniac carl the skunk cocky boy turkey jack tutorial ghastly garlic bread it's ready rr joseph played cat bb burning owl bucket guy yo shaky raphael cloud netflix is nine and of course box david thanks for the love people and if you are a squidling i i greatly do appreciate it i love i love i love you my channel memberships and of course i'll see you guys inside the video anyways though in other news sometimes in my news videos i will include moments from the community and developers interacting with each other and stuff like that call it a dev q a if you will and sometimes these bits of conversations have information that might be important to you or tell us about future updates so of course let's get straight into it now a reckon player was confused by a ship note inside this newest update talking about having to monitor rooms and inventions that person had thought that they had to monitor their own room and inventions for corruption of course like deleted rooms invention creation or invention spawning whoever a Requiem developer clarifies that this patch note is actually saying that we now have something in place that should prevent a room from saving at all if some other bug was going to actually corrupt it so that's pretty interesting to note though it was pointed out by another player that that means that you can't save your progress on the room you did like losing three hour of work sucks and makes people avoid building for that but whoever does say that if your room gets corrupted you're losing that work regardless it's either we prevent you from saving or you have to file a support ticket to even load into the room at all and will likely have to revert the same as part of the support ticket. This shouldn't impact your day-to-day -day life unless a bug comes along to corrupt your room in which case you'd be worse off without this. So of course what are your guys' thoughts on that? Whoever also added on and bugs that can corrupt room saves are the exception not the norm. Ideally they never happen but historically they have and when they do they get highly prioritized. If you have rooms that you can't load into or that you attempt to save with this newest update and it says they're corrupt let us know and they can certainly investigate. And one of those ways to let them know is by submitting a ticket on Zendesk, if you guys don't already know. Link down in the description for that one. And unfortunately, that is pretty much all the news that we have today. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys decided to like, subscribe, and even share this video to a friend, because if they play Rec Room, why not share the news? And if you guys want more Rec Room news, you guys can see other videos that I've made on that side of the screen, probably. And of course, people, I love, I love, I love you! Thank you for watching, and of course, bye-bye. Ah!